Thinking about knee braces, we have a complete video series how to reduce knee injuries, knee guards versus braces, choosing the best knee braces, can braces cause femur fractures, and how to avoid fake knee braces. Like many riders, I bought my knee braces too late. About 10 years ago, I slightly injured both knees on various dirt rides. They never fully recovered, and I knew any further injuries could be serious. I bought a set of EVS web knee braces, but they did not fit very well and wore out quickly. Six years ago, I decided on the CTI Custom knee braces. Expensive? <laughs> Hell yes. The CDI guys measured my knees and sent the information to the USA where my braces were custom manufactured. They cost 2,300 bucks in 2016. They're probably about $3,000 now. CTI also do an off the shelf brace for about half the price. What is the advantage of custom manufacturing? Any pair of good quality knee braces will protect you from hyperextension. However, the correct fit becomes very important to provide protection against other forces, such as twisting motions or impacts up through the leg. You can be lucky and find generic knee braces that fit. But like many riders, my knees didn't really suit the generic braces. So let's see the good and bad aspects after about 4,000 hours of riding with the custom CTI knee braces. They are built to last. My choice was influenced by former Canadian Enduro champion Larry Murray. His CTI braces were still in great condition after 21 years. I think these CTIs were made in 1996. 21 years old. See, they've been absolutely great to me. Since I had my uh, knee replaced, though, um, I would not be without them. They're absolutely worth every penny. And I know they're expensive, but they are worth every nickel. I've met several riders using these braces for 10 years or more. They have similar reports about the longevity. I had my braces checked after four years and about 3,000 hours of use. Two straps that held the patella cup had worn through. One of the Velcro straps had lost most of its adhesion and needed replacing. That was it. If you ride a lot or plan on riding for many years, the high price can become a sensible long-term investment. There is a lifetime warranty on the frame and hinges. Another advantage of the CTI, it is recognised as a proper medical brace. And some riders have used a doctor's prescription to have the braces supplied under their medical insurance. Comfort, as expected, the custom fit is great. You forget you are wearing them very quickly. The negatives. After countless crashes, the outer layer is looking quite worn. It seems to chip fairly easily compared to the materials on some other braces. And that's my only complaint. As usual, I googled around to see if other riders had problems. Eventually, I found one rider who said his CTI custom braces move around too much. Another two riders said they found their braces were uncomfortable. In all three cases, they didn't provide much detail, so I wondered if the original measurements were incorrect. Given the vast majority of riders rave about their braces, I'm not sure if these criticisms were valid. The big problem is always the price. If they are free due to a doctor's prescription, woohoo. But if you want the best possible protection and have the money, go for the CTI. If you are a regular rider on a budget, the most important thing is spend enough to get a quality brace, then ensure it fits correctly. The fit is more important than the actual brand. Again, see our video about ensuring the best fit possible. Do you wear braces? Which brand? And do you like them or hate them? Let us know in the comments.